What's up, happy gamers? I'm Jay Scrotts, and welcome to the First Impressions with Impressions Halo 5 Edition. If you don't know already, what I do with First Impressions with Impressions is I do my first impressions, I give you my first impressions of a new game, and I also do some impressions for you. Now, sometimes I do good impressions, sometimes they're not so great. So I will do the best I can and whatever impressions I choose, but what I'm going to do for this video Hopefully I'm not talking over them. Open the door so we can help. Anyway, what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to give you my first impressions with a little bit of gameplay here, but I'm also going to throw in some random impressions. Okay, before, I think I've done them before the video, but this time I'm just going to throw them in the middle. So, as you can tell with Halo 5 Guardians, it, it looks great. It's very, very colorful, it's very pretty, just very nice to look at. Uh, one, actually, one of the first things I noticed was the frame rate. It's so smooth, and just moves around so well, and the guns, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, the guns feel so good, they feel great, they really do. And I love the, how colorful the enemies are. Uh, some of it's, you know, from Halo 4, they've, they've carried over some of the things that they've done with the um, Covenant and the, the different creatures that you fight here. But, most of all, it just looks like a better game, and I have had a blast with it so far. I would say that it really is the best Halo so far, uh, which is hard for me to say because I loved Halo 2. Uh, to me, actually, I don't even know if I can say this is the best one. To me, Halo 2 will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. But with this one, I just really enjoyed... <sighs> Man, it just feels so good. Look at that. It just feels so good. And... La, 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 what am I saying? <laughs> uh, there's a little thing, a Spartan Charge. There's a little move that you can do, which is really awesome. Let me try it here. Bam! Love that. Feels so satisfying. Makes me want to, like, blow some Covenant in the sky with my massive helmet that apparently I'm using to bust into their faces. Now, the HUD looks awesome, the way the HUD is set up. It's set up, uh, so you can see through the visor, it's got kind of a Metroid Prime feel, honestly. If I can say that without sounding blasphemous. Uh, the game... Oh, I didn't throw a grenade, that was weird. The game actually, it's got like a Metroid Prime feel, which I love Metroid Prime, so that's great. That's not a bad thing at all. I don't know about you, but uh, Metroid Prime is awesome. Uh, impression time! Alright, so I have to do this impression with a cup, and you'll see why. If you want to know how to do this impression, this isn't the greatest impression, so, like, don't... Don't... Don't troll me, please. This is the best I could do with what I've got. I'm a cup, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I found the best way to do a Chewbacca impression is to use this cup here. So I'm going to try it right here. Might have to try a few times, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. I kind of feel like an idiot doing this. Yeah. Anyway. Chewbacca! Okay. Back to Halo 5. So far, the story is great. I love... Uh, there's a... There are two characters, two main characters this time. Uh, the Master Chief, obviously, and Spartan Locke. Locke is a really awesome guy. Really awesome black dude, if I can say that. Um, I love that they're putting black people into games and movie stuff. They're making, giving them more prominent roles, like Star Wars, for example. Uh, it, it's just, it gives a nice change to the <laughs> normal white cracker main character consistency thing anyway Locke is awesome he's really hardcore and the Master Chief obviously is great 
And speaking of Master Chief, one thing that I really love about Master Chief in this one specifically is how vocal he is. He's so vocal. He talks about everything. And if he sees something in the area that maybe you might not see, he'll say it. Like if there's an elevator that you need to use, he'll say, hey, elevator, or something like that, you know? Uh, if there's a gun that you could pick up, a special gun you could pick up, he will say, hey, there's so-and-so gun, or this type of gun, whatever. There's, so that's awesome. Um, I'm going to switch seats here because uh, they are not going to use the gun right. So, yeah, ma ma they give him Master Chief a little more personality, which, you know, I'm not there yet, so don't, and don't spoil it for me. Um, but there have been rumors that he's going to die in this one. And we'll see. Actually, right now, in this mission specifically, we are searching for him. So, you know, especially if, if he is going to die in this one, it would make sense for them to give uh, him more personality. The cinematics are great. Man, the facial expressions, the, the way that the characters move whenever they talk is so realistic. In fact, I have not seen uh, characters more realistic than this very often in games nowadays. Now there are some games that they spend more time on that than they do anything else, but for the most part you won't find uh, the way the way that these characters move and the way that they talk and their body language, you won't find that really in too many video games. Oh, is it time for another impression? I think it is. Okay, this one I have done since high school, and I graduated from high school 10 years ago. So, this impression's 10 years old, so it might not sound as good as it used to, but I used to get compliments all the time about it. Here we go. This is Gollum from The Lord of the Rings. You ready? All right. What's Halo, precious? What's Halo, eh? Hello. Hello. Master Chief and, and Hello. Does it die? Master Chief. Yes. Yes. My precious. Yeah. I'm just kind of a weirdo. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, back to Halo 5. That was the last impression for the video. So. Oh. Probably going to be like, well, I don't want to watch it anymore. But <laughs> Halo 5 is awesome, so keep watching it. You better. It's something I love that is way different from any of the other Halo games. Is that your squad members, your squad mates, are actually smart. And they are actually effective. Most of the time they're just dumb and they get themselves killed really quickly. But they're, they're actually making a difference for you. And they're helping you out a little bit. Uh, unless there's a guy running around with an energy sword slicing everyone to pieces, if you if you die, you actually don't die. You just uh, incapacitated, I guess. You fall on the ground, and then they can come and revive you. Uh, so that's awesome, and they will do it really quick too. They won't, you know. If you think about it, doing something like that in any of the other Halo games, um, what would generally happen is. If you were to get inca incapacitated in another Halo game, your teammates would be so dumb that they wouldn't find the time to come over and help you out. But in this one, it's all about you. Uh, they do love you. Who are you? And what are you doing? Uh, my driver is absolutely awful. But your squad teammate, your teammates, your squad mates, whatever you want to call them, they love you so much. They'll do anything to help you out. They do not want you to die. And also, they do not die either, like I said, unless there is a zealot running around with an energy sword. So anyway, guys, those are my first impressions for Halo 5. It's a great game. It really is. And it's getting killer reviews right now. Uh, better reviews than, just like with Assassin's Creed, what are you doing? Okay, I'm driving. You stink. And it's because you're a woman, isn't it? Yep. Women are terrible drivers. Anyway, it's a great game. It's getting really good reviews. Just like with Assassin's Creed, it's getting better reviews than a Halo game has gotten in a while. So pick it up if you've got the extra money, if you got the extra cash, and if you've got the extra time. And if you don't like it, don't blame me. 
I love you. I hope you stay happy. And I will see you next time. Alright. We need to die. Okay. I'm getting out so I can kill this thing. Got him. 